What's up, everybody? I am your host, Christopher David. I'm Bobby Newton. Sony. Sony. <laughs> and uh, we are... Welcome back. Oh, thank you. You're Good welcome. to be back. Good to be back. Man, yeah, I took a sabbatical last week. I just need to talk about my mom. Name of the show. Oh, the Jimi Hendrix Experience. Welcome. Mm -hmm. New York, Oh my God, we're going to get sued. Yeah, we're going to get sued. <laughs> Jimmy's yeah, dead. We're not Jimmy Hendrix. Uh, we are family squad. We are definitely not. We are part of the tribe. 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 Yeah, part of the tribe. Yeah, so anyway, so how was your how was your visit with your mom? It was good. My mom was still in town. She's on the East Coast here. Yeah. Um, she's over in Jersey right now, visiting in front of the family. Um, and I was with her last week, and that's why I couldn't make it. I couldn't make it. So, Hotel. Uh, the uh, yeah, and I, I, I bought the tickets on Thursday and I was like, oh, shit, we the same day, so. Was it good? Was it a Christmas Sippity thing, or? We don't do stuff like that. We don't do like being simple. We do some things. So it was just classical? Yeah, it was just classical, Mozart, Jimmy Minor. Piano. Yeah. yeah. It was just kind of good. Very good. Very it's always good. Simple things, man. I agree. Yeah, it's good to be closer. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite instrument in a uh, in uh, symphony? Probably the. Uh, I don't know. I probably got the other one. Probably the violin. Violin. Probably the violin. Yeah. I'm violin. a cello guy. I like the cello. Uh, I like the cello too. Yeah. I mean, you know, strings. So the men's. I can hold a bit deep there. Uh, the cello can be on the deep end, but uh, violin is kind of a wide range. A wide range. Well, the strings are usually a butt. Yeah, and then you got brass and all that. And you got the you know, the ladies. Yeah. So, uh, a lot of people think about some things like that. Like a or something like that. Yeah, I don't understand. And the conductors, he's got to talk to the symphony. This guy is a regular person just like us. You know what I mean? So he's going to talk and he's going to crack jokes. And you talk about his night, you know, and he will get into it. So it's intermission and all that stuff, you know. Yeah, it's all fun and stuff. Next year. And then, um, what is it? It's not that good. Intermission, that's what I said. Yeah, intermission. Then you go out, go out some drinks, meet some people from the bands, you know. Sounds like a good time. Some hot chick playing the clarinet. Like, what are you doing later? And where does that go? So, I'm not how you got the white version instead of the black one. Well, why does it matter? I'm just asking. Oh. Uh, there you go. So, what is that? Here's my yeah. microphone picked it up. Why did you pick the black version instead of the white version? I didn't know they had it in the back. I didn't even look that far in. <laughs> because my girlfriend got it, that's why. Yeah. It's only white and that. Everything in the house is white. Wow. Yeah. And the duty for the stock is white. I'm like, who has been stockings? Like, who? Is it Christmas stockings? Mm -hmm. Money green. I think it's supposed to be. Red? I hey, man, you know what? No judgment. No, no judgment. No, no, no. It's, it's your choice. You know. Okay, it's like all the way. Yeah, no, it's your choice. It works. Yeah. yeah. So, I feel better. Uh, what? Who is that? No. Who is that? No. So, what did you guys talk about last week? <laughs> what was that about last week? What did, what did we talk about last week? I don't remember. Oh, I know what you're talking about. He's losing his man's card. Oh, Who? He's <laughs> losing his man's movie card. Lost your man. I definitely do not. Card. No, what happens is Chris David ruins movies for everyone. Spoiler alert. I don't know. He's about to probably do it again. Well, I'm not going to say anything about movies you guys don't mind. I just wondered it. Did you look straight today? I did. I thought it was going to work for us. Well, I was, but then I had four hours at the film itself. See? And I had no That's the bullshit. And then, well, I had nothing to do. Here. First off, I thought you were talking about Easter eggs the whole fucking fucking podcast. All right. First off, I thought you were out of town, or I would have told you to come with me. So I, I you know, that's I, I even messaged you and asked you what you were doing. Well, it's not my fault. And then you were working too, so I had to do for like four hours today. So I just went to get you know. We had jobs. I have a job too. My that was a good one. Roll book Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, let's go to the movie really quick. Yeah. What do you think of the movie? I without telling us. Without telling the movie. All right. So so yeah. so I thought I thought it was good. 
I didn't like how they made Godzilla. If, if you're a Godzilla fan, if you're a Godzilla fan, and you appreciate the old genre, you'll appreciate the way he walks. If you didn't, then it's kind of, because it's kind of the flashbacks of that era. I, I was in this oh. show. Was that the original Godzilla? No, 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 no. But it was, it was definitely more like the childhood when we grew up. How did you even grow up? I showed you. That whole stiff movement like thing. The robot? Like that, yeah. How did you do that? Just like that. Well, no, I mean, it's just, it's just you know, because you watch the other guys in the movies, you know, the whole thing and stuff like that, and he's like, you know. Wait, so, what you're saying is that's a little too gothic for you? A little bit. It was just a little too slow for me. You could have been walking a little bit faster. Or something. But, overall, the storyline was good. The, it, it wasn't, it's not, it's not, it's a Godzilla movie, but it's not, it's a war movie. Huh. Yeah. So, well, Godzilla kind of is a big sea creature, right? So well, he's a lizard. He's, he's slower on land. Well, no, he's not really. He's more like a giant lizard. Yeah, like, you ever see Komodo Dragon? He moved to Komodo Dragon. He moved to Dragon. He moved to Dragon. He moved to Dragon. He moved to Dragon. Yeah. No, not off like him so far. He, no, he did not look like the one that's in Pink Hawker. Did he look like he was in that No, no. He looked, he looked more like a traditional one, except for his spikes coming out. You know, because they, they had a whole thing where... Rounded head. Yeah, he had the rounded head, the rounded cheeks, too. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was more spiky, more scaly. Oh. All right, now let's use our brains for this one right here. Right. Okay. Uh, what part, what part, did, did you see anything um, in the movie that was, um, that, that they used from today's uh, political... Temperature and atmosphere. No, no, that was in there. That was actually they politics. Out of they really did. They really did. And now, now, now it's based out after Hiroshima. Okay. So, so, so there was some, you know. Some, so it's our fault. No, it wasn't. They didn't do it at all. They didn't knock America at all. Like at all. There was no hate on America. There was no hate. Maybe when they hit Hiroshima, Godzilla's no. result of Hiroshima. Is that no, they didn't. They didn't say it at all. There was no. There was no. I mean, it, it's supposed to be a, a growth in the top of bottom. The islands or whatever, you know, outside of there, and it's just a came back to that. But they don't bring that up as America's fault. They, they, it's more based on the fact of a kamikaze pilot who chose to run away instead of commit suicide, mm. and his perspective of dealing with that, and him not going Chris out because he actually saw Godzilla before he, yeah, Chris Honor. yeah, yeah. So that's here's here's the thing, dishonor the family. I just would like to say, before this goes any further, <laughs> Chris David spoils movies for everyone. <laughs> if you have not seen Godzilla 1.0, this guy will ruin it's, it for it's you. It's one. Whatever. Nice. You're ruining it. Warning. Anything can be said here on part of the tribe with these three, so consider yourself warned. Now, a word from our sponsor, Lupo Entertainment. Carry on. Based, like I said, more based on, on a perspective of a traumatized warrior than it was. I mean, it got to the Zinni, yes. But, 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 you know, it really comes from the humane perspective of somebody who was traumatized by war, who, who, who you know, lost everything, and, and, you know, Godzilla, who was a repercussion of. Well, it's a war movie. I'm going to tell you the whole, you know. Well, well, what, what time well, did it take? Did it take, like, 1946. Oh, it took place back in that process. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was actually, it was actually right after. Yeah, so it was, it was like, you know, we got the bar off the way, we, you know, we won. What day did it have out? The movie? Because we just passed December 7th. It, it, came, out, it came out two months ago. I remember that happened in Japan. So did it? Yeah, I think so. It was one of the, yeah, because they, 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 like, they, they Well, they just released it here two weeks ago. Uh, do you this think that maybe it was... was do you think it had anything to do with what's going on right now? Do you think it had anything to do with that uh, December 7th? It might have. I mean, it might have had. It might have. You know, it's December 7th, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, but I don't December know. 7th? Yeah. Well, I don't know. What? Who 
we have to be trouble. No, I'm just saying, they talk about the day that we'll live in infamy. No, that's the day they... They, they, they gave up. No. It's the day they attacked Pearl Harbor. Oh, yeah, they did. It's not yeah. It's all about that. It's all about that. It's all about that. It's all about that. It's your own to support it. 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 I apologize. But anyway, yeah, so we get it. It was a good movie. Um, I thought I thought storyline was excellent. Um, um, Jesus, what was his name? What was his name? I'm not ashamed. Shit. Not ashamed. What are you saying? A little bit. Yeah, that's all right. I don't expect us all to be, you know, patriots. Wow. You know? I don't expect us all to love our country. <laughs> oh, it's so much up. So much up. So much up. So much up. And then July 4th. But anyway, so the point, the point where we got to the North America got on July 4th. It's like the fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was other barbecues. Um, <laughs> oh, now, okay, so, so back to the point, I was bringing up movies that are just coming out, and Bobby had no idea what I was talking about. Yeah, he got all mad when we saw the Godzilla. No, 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 that was today. But I, I brought up all the movies last week, like the guys uh, last one. I brought up the guy. Well, let's hear Bob. Let's hear Bob's full movies. What movie are you still mad about that you brought up? Oh, my God, so it just happened. All right, what was the one last fresh. week? What was the one last well, week? Well, no, I just remember previews of movies, and he had no idea what I was talking about. Like what? Like Godzilla vs. Kong. I didn't even see that. No, it's, it's not out yet. It's a trailer. I was talking about trailers. I wouldn't even talk about movies around. I was talking about trailers. And I was like, you haven't seen the freaking trailer between Godzilla vs. Kong? Or 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 Godzilla vs. Kong? It's already out. It's already out. It's already out. It's already out. It's my God, what the hell is this? Come on, it's just one of those. I apologize for it. It's just one of those. They're coming up. Now they're coming up. They're running out of things to. No, they're running out of new movies to make. So now they're going back to, hey, man, when we were kids, remember when we would say, hey, what's stronger? What's weaker? Godzilla or Godzilla? Yeah, Godzilla. 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 Godzilla.
<laughs> Alright, so let me give you some fun facts here, right? So Mr. Beast is the number one YouTube guy in the world. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard You know, with like 38 billion views. Uh, all right. right. So he, he helped 100 people or 1,000 people with cataracts. Okay. See you again. He helped one two that with deaf. You're again. For fun? Or for no, for like, like just, to, just to help. Well, see, that's, that's kind of, so let me just get straight up. So he helped 100 people, like a bunch of people, like, I don't know how to like, a couple hundred people here again. A couple hundred people see you again. He put 100 wells in Africa. Built the bridge. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah right. For 100 wells in Africa, which stops up over there. <laughs> oh, he was. <laughs> okay, yeah, like, well, was. Like, Hunter Wells in Africa uh, built a bridge and rebuilt the orphanage. Okay. And this guy did bad hate. All right, so that our town doesn't. So, so my question is why you have somebody who's using as well huh? to help people who need it? Is there something could there be maybe the, the diversion of the book and not uh, build a little kids foundation? So I'm doing a lot for Africa and the third world countries and stuff like that. I mean, he was like, wow, this is a great foundation. And now people are like, he's not doing foundation though. This isn't like, he's not asking anybody for money. He's not asking anybody. He literally goes there, pays for it, puts him in, and leaves. So, so there's nothing behind it. There's nothing behind it. That you know. Okay. That you know. Well, he's, because, not, he's not going to be affiliated with it. All right. You know what I mean? He's not going to be you or it's fine. Somebody is going to be. There's somebody watching it too. Yeah. And and, and it's it's well, then, so the hate let's let's listen to what the hate's got. So the hate he's got is, is a white man doing something. We did uh, the other one he got was uh yeah. And the other one's yeah, his name is Beach, yeah. We get the other one is that he uh um uh, uh he is helping disabled people and that he that people that are disabled shouldn't be helped because it should be looked at as a disability. It's one of the things that was, one, where was one of this. Oh, I got this from, from, from New York Times. It's like people are like journalists off the off the X off off the Twitter. Right? Right? They should have hate, they're hate on him because it's helping disabled. People. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Like hate time. They're calling him racist. They're calling him freaking. You know, even though these people, he's helping not white. Freaking. You know, because not all of them. You know, freaking. They the, the actual town in Africa where he built the the bridge and he built the wells has an issue with it. Because it made them look bad. Because he came in there and did something for them uh, that they they weren't able to do. So it's been hey man. Thank you. <laughs> now, now wait a minute. Now was this all from the same source? Uh, some. I sent you guys a reporter. On the no, I sent you. I sent you guys an ex video you know, of Bill Moore talking about it because he really brought up the the oh. post of the video of the video. I said do some research on it. Because because literally like so so I guess I don't like Bill I'm not a big Bill Moore fan. I am. No, that's fine. So if you so so you know, he he brought it up. He brought up the news clips of these articles yeah. from the New York Times and all these other like NSNBC and all these people, and and brought it up and, and talked about it. Yeah. You know, and talked about how these people were doing this stuff. You know, how they're hating on this guy. Hey, you know, the biggest things they got to know who the hell he is. You know, like, he doesn't want. Yeah, he didn't know who Mr. Beast was. Yeah, because he's a like, oh. Yeah, yeah, but this guy like he's literally taking it. And you know, and I like Mr. Beast's response all the way. He said, I don't care what you people think. Yeah. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to yeah. help these people do my thing. And, and that's the other thing. People are saying, oh, he's doing it for likes, he's doing it for views, he's using people's, people's, uh, uh, and, but it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, man. Yeah, at the end of the day, you have thousands of people with fresh water that didn't have water. You know, thousands of people that can see again and hear again. I'm sure if you ask any of those people, they'd be like, yeah. No, thank you. Not like yo, fuck you, bro. Go see Mr. Beast for doing uh, uh, step it up. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 honestly, I think, I think people are hating off that there, and that's the other thing too. It's like most people. Here's other people that I've seen, like activists, somebody that brought it up as a race card, and and my my response to all of that is, what did you do to help these people? (laughs) Like. What did you do? Did you did you did you serve charity? Did you give any money to help give anything to those people that needed it? 
I'm sure if we asked all these kids that have, have a school building now, because those are both a school, you know, that was broken down, those streets up. I'm sure if we asked those kids, they'd be like, thanks, bro. I'd much rather have a place to study than not. <laughs> I, I, I think you're right. I, I should have watched your thing. I probably want to go down a rabbit hole. So yeah. I can have something to challenge or push back. That's what I was looking for. I'm trying to challenge you push back, but what I'm saying. Well, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for you guys to do research so you can actually have a good well, yeah, conversation. I don't have to do research. Yeah. All I have to know, all I have to know is that you got your information from just one source. No, it's not just one source. It, I literally, I, I brought everyone. Run the game soon. No, I've seen, I've seen. seen one game. No, I, he just wanted to show to you guys. But I've seen other people on TikTok, other people that actually came out with, like, you know, screw this guy. Here we get in, talking out about it. Like, it's actually question. Do you want your kid watching him? Mr. Beast? Yes. My kid does watch him. Do you want your kid watching I'm okay with him. I'm still okay with him. Do you not want your kid watching him? I don't want him. Why? Some of the stuff that they do is just like that. Like? Like what? Okay. Smashing stuff that doesn't need to be smashed. Like, <laughs> but he owns the stuff. He okay. buys it, though. Okay. But to a nine, ten year old, when they go around smashing their mom and dad. No, he, listen, he makes it very easy. He says it very apparently that he bought this stuff, yeah. he paid this much money for it, yes. and now they're going to put it to his, uh, you know, the smasher. Yes. I you know. They, 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 it's so totally different than when we were growing up and people watching Van Vigerian. Who was going in and smacking his dad with a plunger in the middle of the night that and breaking everything? That was uh, funny. <laughs> that was very funny. Yes, that was very funny, but very horrible. Yes. Yes. Very funny, very horrible. But uh, once again, my point is but what's a wasteful thing they can break it? When you say, hey, listen, that's unnecessary. I don't want my kids to see him breaking that whatever. Well, hey, what's one thing? Pumpkin? Is he smashing pumpkin? No, he's smashing like memory geese. And oh, like, you did, oh yeah, dude. <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 dude. I'll, I'll take a look at the video and put it right through a like, like a car shredder. Yeah, dude, and that's the thing. Like, he, he, he takes his money, and he also does, he also does like obstacle course. Like, he'll do like things where he has to make a list, man. You gotta catch him, you'll find him. And he'll do this whole thing where they gotta chase him and find him. And if they find him, they catch him. They pay like $5 million. Uh, that's, that's not bad. Bad. Yes, it is. He gives him five million. Dude, he gives him a thousand. No, dude, no. He gives him billions. Dude, you put a guy in a, in a grocery store, right? The deal was you have to stay in the grocery store. For as many days you go to stay in the grocery store, I'll give you ten thousand dollars. But you can't leave that grocery store. Okay. So the guy stayed in there for forty five days. Eating whatever. Yeah, dude, eating whatever. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars. That guy. He's probably in a grocery store. In the grocery store. Like, what would you say? Like, camp here, dude. So it's like a Walmart. It's like a Walmart. Oh, right. So you can't sell one of Yeah, but here's the deal. After, after so, so every day, every day, he took something out of the store. He had to build his own shower. He had to have a shower. He had to build his own shower. Well, for that much money, I probably would have built some traps and locks. See if they can come in there and take whatever they want. It's going to be a fight. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, a word from our sponsor, Rupo Entertainment. Anybody, you can't be a phone, there's not like this TV, you know. And after after 10 days, they turn off the electric. So each day, they turn they take something away to uh, make it harder. That's kind of a big move. It is, but ten thousand dollars a day, you do you sit there for five days, it's getting cranked. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you had uh, that's you had in store, <laughs> dude, I would start, I would have been a dirty motherfucker seeing it. Chris, <laughs> actually, let's go with Bobby. Let's go with Bobby. Let's go with Bobby. And this is the same the same question, Bobby, for you, and the same thing for you, Chris, and I'll answer the same thing in my best same, same way. If you had um, an unlimited source of money, let's maybe not unlimited, but just a nice, vast wealth, okay? And you had to do something to help one person, but it had to be some kind of gimmick like this. What would be your show? What would you do? Grab one person. What would you do with one person or a group of people? What would you do? What would you say? Hey, listen, you have to do this so you can get this much money. Can't take too long. Pick up fly right now. I already know what I do. That's why I thought it was a Wow. <laughs> wow. Go swimming with sharks. Go swimming with sharks. You're saying we could be swimming? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's your idea. Yeah, no. 
Oh, would you? Jeez, um, I would do what I would do. So you would have to help a homeless, a homeless guy. Have to help a homeless person. Yeah, he's got an opportunity to to walk away with five, ten million dollars. Let's call it ten million dollars because that's a lot of money. That'll change somebody's life. Right. So okay, you got a homeless guy, and you're gonna say, listen, you have an opportunity to walk away with a ten million dollars. What are you gonna make him do? Convince three people. Him, make him convince three people to go to rehab. Yeah. Huh? For how long? Did this guy go to uh, any type of, like, if they have a drug or a problem, he's got to get three random people and they have to go to rehab. Yeah. They, have, they have to fulfill the yeah. For how long? Six months? Three to six months. Holy cow, that's a long time. Okay. All right, so that's a six month um, 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 uh, commitment for somebody who wanted $10 million. All right, I like it. It's very nice. Bobby, I got to tell you, man, you know, see some way to me. Uh, you, you, you always come from a good heart. So yes, I like that question. I will give you twenty million dollars so you can split that ten million dollars with that bum. And make <laughs> that you guys that bum. All right, that's not what I do, Mom. Chris, what would you do? Say <laughs> what I would love to. Talk. So right, and this is probably wrong. So what was the question? Um, you got you got to pay a homeless. Ten million dollars. He's got to win the ten million dollars somehow. After he does what you, what's he got to do to win that ten million? To win the ten million, he has to take ten million dollars and feed. I don't know. I say five thousand people. Oh my god! And yeah. does that come out of his cut? No. If he does, if he does that, I'll give him one for it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pay. He gets him million dollars and helps as many people as he can to eat, to get, and be taken care of for like eighty first. Oh, so you got to give him the ten million first. Then. He has ten million dollars to spend. Oh, yeah, but if he spends, but if he no, 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 but if he spends it at all on himself, he gets money. This is kind of like Mr. Millions. You know, you got to yeah. spend this too much money. You got to spend this much money to get ten million dollars. Uh, but he doesn't know he's going to get ten million dollars. Well, he's yet. got, he's got to feed ten thousand. Well, he's gonna be. He's gonna. He's gonna help at least. He's gonna spend that money on somebody else helping them. You know, somebody less fortunate. Kelly, man, yeah, it's a cool biography here, man. Yeah. Like, how, 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 how do you want to? I'm up. All right, what would you do? All right, let's hear Sonny's. Let's hear Sonny's version. <laughs> what would you do with ten million dollars? He's playing grand one. Is he gonna let the homeless guy ten million dollars? I. That's. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's hear it, bro. Let's hear it again. All right. And just tell me about some of the homeless people. All right. All right. You're just hunting like homeless people, aren't you? <laughs> 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 well, hey, all. Listen, tell me, what is it? Get yourself a good homeless guy. Oh, God. God. He's hardly a homeless man. man. This $10 million is yours. <laughs> if you survive. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I'm so proud. Oh, yeah, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks, Chris. Yeah, that's, 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 that's why. 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 That's Two months. Like, I'll take the half. He's not fucking us two months. This man, so you're getting a homeless guy who has nothing, no car, no nothing, like, survive for two months before I find him. Well, no, you gotta take him out to the wilderness. Wow, it makes it worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what I'm gonna say. How many homeless people are in the wilderness? Wow, probably. No, there's not. How many people in the woods do you see? I'm gonna do. Oh, for doing the wilderness. I probably, I take like a Bear Grylls guy. Yeah, there you go. Because listen, you listen, you have no idea what you're doing. Yeah, you have no idea what you're doing. Yeah, right? It's a problem still with the wizard. Wow, this is terrible. Yeah, dude, I, 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 I apologize right now. No, no, it was just like bone hunting. I mean, not a bone hunter. I said I was in Virginia. Do you remember that show, Bone Hunters? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I mean, look, they're all over California. You go down there, you pick a couple up, you say, listen, guys, split this $10 million. Work together. So let me get this straight, right? Let me get this straight. So. Bobby's going to treat the homeless. He's going he's gonna, he's gonna to give people the rehab. Yeah. I'm going to let the guy be uh, Santa Claus for a couple months, and you're going to make him survive on his 
on on in the woods to know what Strauss was. Chitty chitty man man. No. Mm-hmm. That's all. No, no, there you have to be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you got lights inside, Jay. No, I don't you know. Oh, man. I'm sure somebody else is playing it right now. So, <laughs> yeah. It's actually not funny. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, yeah. Somebody else is playing it right now. Uh, listen, if there was a homeless guy right now, and you guys keep saying bumps, I'm I saying, who said I'm saying homeless, who said bumper? okay? If there was a homeless guy watching us right now, I promise you, he would say, Well, I would say, how is he homeless and yet has a TV? That would be very interesting, to say the least. Anyway. A word from our sponsor, Mupo Entertainment. Carry on. Yeah, 
Who was the guy you remember years ago? Like, oh my god, he's a comedian. Why the fuck does he look like there's someone in the world? Well, that's this. No, it's a hundred percent. So anyway, you two can't be president anyway. of a nation. Well, listen, Marvel Bakers was an actor. Yeah, Marvel Bakers was an actor. Was governor of Oklahoma uh, State? A uh, governor of uh, Oklahoma. Yeah, can't yeah, say it without doing it. Yeah, you can't do it. If you do the job, I love all of you. I love all of you. All right, we had a couple issues here about the summer and summer, right? Next, next episode of uh, Game Talk. English. English. We're going to start our next episode. Um, um, anyway, listen, man, you can catch us on Google Entertainment, and you can kill. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You can download yet, but you can That's um, why I didn't see last week's episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You did? Yeah. Treasure. Don't be hurt. <laughs> Wait, do that again. Yeah, do that again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it Months. 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 Here we go. Ready? This is this is sunny here. Uh, I didn't see last week's episode because I didn't have Mupo Entertainment, which you should have. So download M U P O Mupo and find the truth. The truth. The truth. It's not the truth. Oh, I like that though. Part of the treasure. That's part of the treasure. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is like. I like that. It is not. Yeah, anyway, listen, as always, man, we believe in you. We believe in the best in you. I'm your host, Mr. David. Jesus Christ. So glad Sonny's back. Oh, Wimbos. Wimbos. I'm the one. No, the guy. Okay, the black guy who's posed like that. Oh, yeah, the fourth guy. The and then you get a word and you get a word with that guy on his word. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. Check out the bulge, ladies. Uh, wow. <laughs> anyway, listen. As always, man, we believe in you. We're going to say the best to you. Uh, um, I'm your host, Mr. David. Bobby, uh, dude. Yeah. I'm Jerry. I'm Don Slaughter. I don't get um, Yeah, anyway, listen, man. Uh, and we are part of Part of the Drive, guys. Thanks for watching. All right.